We made it. That's right, Hugo. And you can kiss the Foreign Legion goodbye. <laughs> goodbye and good riddance, you chumps. <laughs> Come on, we'll head north, towards Europe. You know, Paris, the Eiffel Tower, croissants. Not so fast, Junior. That's exactly what they'll expect us to do. We'll head south instead. South? There's nothing that way but jungle. Exactly. They won't ever think to look for us there. Well, now why not? Because a couple of guys like us wouldn't last a minute in the jungle. <laughs> You're a genius, Hooft. And that's why we'll stay one step ahead, Hugo. Superior intellect. And who has that? Assemble a squad of our best men. We are going after them? They are criminals, Lieutenant. And I intend to bring them to justice, even if I have to hunt them to the very ends of this earth. Thirsty pirate Blackbeard pointed his cutlass at Lieutenant Maynard and forced our hero out onto the ship's plank. Maynard bravely stepped forward towards his certain doom, not once glancing down at the shark infested waters below. Blackbeard cackled a sinister laugh. <laughs> Too scary! Too scary! I can't take any more! Make it stop! Hey, what gives? You're the one who picked out that book! I know, but the binding looks so pretty and inviting. They really ought to put warning labels on these things. <laughs> well, it just serves to show that you can't judge a book by its cover. How should you judge a book? Well, by what's inside, of course. Well, it's a saying that applies to people as well. You can't always go by outside appearances. You have to take the time to read them. <laughs> I suppose so. So let's skip on now, shall we? Um, Lieutenant Maynard bested Blackbeard and they all lived happily ever after and so on and so forth. See and next time I pick the book. So uh, I assume Blackbeard went to prison, right? Uh, no chance of probation, no work release programs, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I think we're quite safe from him or any other dangerous criminals. Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Uh, oh, not. Going to make it. You go on without me. Okay, buddy. Go on without me. Yeah, go on without me. I can't go on without you. We're chained together. Yeah, right. Okay, well, I'll go on without you then. We're alive! We're alive! We're alive! Nice trapeze work there, pal. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're a real swinging kind of guy. Well, sir, I'm Hoof. And this is Hugo. Hi, how you doing? Hello? He's not getting it. Hello? Wild man of the jungle! Do you know English? I'm Tarzan. Oh, boy. Well, uh... Tarzan, looks like somebody's been working out. Thanks, I was hoping you'd notice. Not you, you oh. dumb lug. Whoa. You're not British, are you? 
No, sir, nature boy. No, sir, we're American. All the way, 100%. Whoa! Whoa! Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, good stuff. Oh, mm. You want a bite of mine? No, thank you. <laughs> Are we certain they're not pirates? Ask them if they know Blackbeard. They're not pirates. They're Americans. Okay. But if you end up walking the plank, don't come crying to me. So, you gentlemen are with the Foreign Legion, am I correct, hmm? Mm. Yeah, we were. And then, then we busted our way out. Out of the rank and file. You see, we're not really soldiers. You're not? We're not? No, no, uh, we're super secret agents. Cleverly disguised as soldiers. Uh, soldiers in really raggedy and, and dirty uniforms. Yeah, we're the rag squad. And we're on a secret mission right now. Oh, mission, yeah. Really? What kind of mission? Oh, uh, a super secret one, of course. Yeah, after all, we're super secret agents, remember? Yeah. And what, pray tell, would these be, exactly? These? Well, there's a very simple explanation for these. See, these would be our... Decoder bracelets? Yeah, exactly, Junior. That's right. Well, we hate to eat and run, but we've burdened you enough. It's time for us to be packing up. Packing up and moving on. Yeah, thanks for all your help, Tarzan. Take care, you two. Good luck. Hey, whoa! Ho, hold on whoa, there, nature hold boy. Hold on, hold your zebras. Tarzan, can we trust you? Of course. Because the information I'm about to tell you, it's top, top secret. Oh, it's tippy top secret. I mean, we don't even know it ourselves. What is it? Well, now listen, Tarzan. Our mission is in jeopardy. Here's the thing. We super secret agents need what we in the super secret agent business call a... A, 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 a home base. Exactly, a place where we can sleep. 12 to 14 hours a night. Place where we can eat. Five to six squares a day. Place to do our laundry. Light starts on the collar, if you don't mind. A base of operations for our entire super secret mission. Hmm, but where to find such a place? Where indeed? Hmm. Well, why don't you stay here? Sorry? Uh, what was that you said? Stay here, with us. This could be your home base. Hey, that's a great idea, Tarzan. Oh, brilliant, just brilliant. Boy, that's some good thinking you did there, Einstein. You, sir, have got the makings of a top-notch super-secret agent. Whoa, really? <laughs> oh, very good, very good, sir. Oh, no, stop that. No, no. I ain't eating that. I know where it's been. Guess what? They're staying. Here, with us. Until they finish their super-secret mission. Oh, you shouldn't believe everything they say, dear. I mean, after all, we don't really know these men. How do we know that they can be trusted? Well, they don't have any weapons. Don't please, remember that. <laughs> and look guy. how much fun they are. Oh, I know that they appear harmless enough, but remember what I said about judging a book by its cover. I know those two are trouble. Nothing over here! No sign of them. Keep looking. We must bring those criminals to justice. Do here. All right, remember, they will be tired and hungry by now. Those fools are no match for the hardships of this jungle. Well, look at me. I got it made in the shade. Pass me the food. Glad that we stayed. Got ourselves a home. A cook and a maid. Oh, oh yeah, we, we got, got it made in the shade. Who'd have thought we'd be living in trees? Cool as a cuke, always at ease. Playing with the animals, life is a breeze. When, when we got, got it made in the shade. Feel so good when you're living on easy street. We're so good. Handsome, dashing, split splashing. Up late, then we sleep until one. Give us a call when our laundry is done. Place your bets, isn't this fun? When you got it made in the shade, oh yeah. Pick the wrong one, I'm afraid, uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah we, we got, got it made in the shade. We got, got it made in the shade with a glass of lemonade. <sighs> if those bumblers are secret agents, I'm Queen Bess in a bonnet. <gasps> My apologies if I startled you, madam. You should be careful, a lady such as yourself, alone in the jungle. I do all right on my own, thank you very much, Mr... Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Jean Stockey, 
at your service. I only meant that you should be careful because there are criminals loose in the area. Criminals? Yes, deserters. Very dangerous. Let me guess. One is thin and not too bright, the other portly and dumb as a stump. That would be them. You know where they are. Okay, don't want anybody hurt here. Take it nice and slow, and keep your hands where I can see them, nature boy. <clears throat> oh, that smarts! Oh, you know what I'd do now? Now, this is just me, mind you. I would let it ride, bet it all, the bull down. Yeah, that's the only way to turn that streak around. It is a game of odds, you know. Good day, gentlemen. Yeah, hey, hi there, Colonel Stuckey. Hey, do you mind, Colonel? We're in the middle of a... <laughs> Oh, it's Blackbeard! Blackbeard, I tell you, run for your lives! <laughs> Take them. Now! Oh, no. Get in! Can we start rowing? Nice catch. Yeah. Tarzan, wait! You don't understand! Go left, left, right! I mean, left is right. That's yes, right. Oh, faster, faster! Get out of his face already! He's got to go faster! Yeah. Oh, you got to come up here. The view is incredible. This is this is a breeze. It's not enough. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah. Huh? Ah! Tarzan, please wait. Give me that. Uh -oh. ah! 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 Quickly, over here. Run. Okay, you heard the man. Let's do it. Charge. Uh, or not. <laughs> Hi, fellow. Stop! Hugo and Hooft are criminals. Criminals? No, they're super secret agents. They lied, Tarzan. Is this true? Well, uh, truth, uh, truth can be a very uh, obscure kind of notion. Uh, is it true? It's true. We're not super secret agents. <laughs> Tarzan, wait! Yeah, let us explain! Privates Hugo and Hooft, I hereby place you under arrest again. It's a shame you can only be executed once for your crimes. Executed? What on earth for? The worst crime a soldier can commit, my dear. Refusing to obey a direct order. Insubordination? Is that so serious? It is when I'm giving the order. And what was the order? Well, Stakay ordered us to burn down a village! Yeah, but we wouldn't do it! No! When an officer gives an order, a soldier carries it out. He doesn't whine nonsense about women and children. Now, if you will excuse us, these two have a date with the executioner. And to think after all the times I've been hurt, I'll never trust again. The point is, you can't trust anyone whose body isn't at least 50% covered with hair. You hear me? 50%! Tarzan! I've been looking all over for you. We must rescue Hugo and Hooft at once. Uh, excuse me, are you trying to play mind games with us? I'm so confused. Are they bad guys or not? No, they're heroes, actually, if you can believe that. Wait, wait, wait. You said they were criminals. Well, well they are. Or oh, rather, they're, they're both, really. Oh, that is to say that... You see, sometimes, the people in authority, the ones giving the orders and making the laws, well, they're the ones who are the real criminals. You mean...
that man back there. Colonel Stakay. Only I didn't see it. I just saw that fancy uniform and the badges on his arms, and I assumed that he was the one in the right. So you judged him by his cover? Yes, I know. Stung by my own metaphor. And now Stakay is going to kill Hugo and Hooft. No, he's not. I considered simply flinging you two fools off that cliff. But I decided on a more uh, historic approach. Well, that's very thoughtful. Just a little off the sides, please. Actually, Hugo, uh, I think he's planning to take a little off the top, if you get my meaning. Hey, you guys don't understand. I don't look good in a brush cut. <laughs> Step right up. Any last requests? I wouldn't mind dying of old age. Yeah, hey, how about some key lime pie? That sounds refreshing, and you'll be back from Florida in no time. Just stick to the back roads. Enough! Put them in! Woo! Hey, careful, I bruise easily. Prepare to taste some justice. Thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, let's do it. For Tarzan. You go hoofed! No! <laughs> Don't worry. You're about to join them. I will go. After all, I said I would hunt them to the ends of the earth. And so I have. Oh, Tarzan, thank goodness you were all right. Hey, what happened to Hooft and you go? There you go. Oh, one day they're pulling a peanut out from behind your ear, and the next they're gone. What does it all mean? I, uh... I just got a little something in my eye over here. Yo! Oh. Hello up there! Uh, we could use a little help down here! Hey, nature boy! Yeah, don't leave us hanging down here. You go? Huffed? Whoa, what happened, big guy? Hey, where's Colonel Stakay? He's gone. He left because he thought you were dead. 
Right. Well, well, see, that was our plan all along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, strategy is our middle name. So, what are you two heroes going to do now, hmm? Well, Toots, we just figured we'd move back in with you guys. Yeah. Hey, speaking of which, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> I have a better idea. Uh, did I win? Ah, <laughs> uh, tough luck, Professor. Uh, but, 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 but I could have sworn that seven... Uh... Oh, no, Pops. You're thinking of winter rules. Yeah, this is summer. <laughs> what do you think? They can start tomorrow. <laughs> Just imagine Hugo and Hooft doing an honest day's work. Work? Yes. Honest? I'm not so certain. Oh, hey, Professor. If I are you, know what I do now? <laughs> Double down. Right you are, your smartness. Only way to turn that streak around. Come on now. Daddy needs a new pair of buns and burners. Let's join TJ and the gang next as they take a break in recess on Disney Cinemagic.